inside you Where a songbird there can guide you Past the world's locked doors To crash the rocks of heaven's shore Before I did chakra alignment meditations, I've been a big time yoga, self chiropractic, and this is my stretching exercise that goes along with it. I'll do a separate video to explain what that's all about, and um, I'll just show you that the purpose, though, for us today is for you to listen. So, you know, I really want you to close your eyes and listen to my voice, but if you do want to watch me, because there is video here, uh, the basic concept of my physicality is that I'm bouncing from my pelvis. It's just a bounce, and you want to just notice in the beginning how it affects the whole rest of your spine and especially your neck and head. I'll be doing some stretches and some freeform stuff with my legs, and I'll also be doing a lot of arching with my back, letting the top of my head take my weight so that I'm opening this and then down. So I'm not gonna talk about that while we're going. I'll, like I said, I'll do a separate video explaining all my moves in terms of yoga and self-chiropractic. People sit, people lay down, it doesn't matter what you do. And if you have to turn it off to go take care of the baby for a second, no harm done. I'm not really a stickler for not being interrupted. Um, when I do stuff over the phone, you can blurt out something that's happening. And uh, anyway, here we go. We are doing a basic chakra alignment today. The uh, solar energy is really consistent and not crazy, so that will be easy to deal with. And we are going to start with the red the red base root chakra, it is a ball. It can be a two-dimensional disc, it can be a golf ball. But make it, you know, sizable so that it fits inside the arrow, the point of your pelvis, like between your two hip bones, it's gonna be right here. And it has direction, it is masculine, and it spins to the right. So you start with a red spinning ball, that's spinning to the right and it is the emotion that goes along with survival the statement from the root chakra is I am the very first plane of existence we have is red red light sinks and it gets used in lots of ways because of its sinking abilities and one of the things we like to do is just think about red things that we like in the world. Like, you know, red stops us at signs, but it also, you know, lights up our imagination in certain bright color schemes like flowers and, you know, red streaks in the sky and fruits. Lots of fruits are red. But the most amazing thing that's red on this planet, as you continue to picture a red spinning ball or disc in the crown of your pelvis, is the middle of the earth. The middle of the earth is hot rock, liquid rock that is red. And the first thing that we're gonna do with this red spinning root chakra is to take a little filament, a little line, a thread. It can be red or white, and it's gonna shoot off into your left hip and go down your thigh, into your knee, down your calf, through your ankle, up the ball of your foot, and then it is going to go into the ground. And through the 
sewer systems and rubble of other civilizations and mud and tree roots. And then it's going to go through other crusts and mantles of the earth and aquifers. And then it's going to go through Middle Earth, whether that exists or not. And it's going to keep going until it starts getting some heated rock that is yellow limestone and then it's going to be a little more orange and it's going to heat up and get denser and the next thing you know boom we're in the middle of the earth and we are with the molten hot lava just picture volcanic rock undisturbed in the middle of the earth where the density of the magnetic field is so much you can't even move it's heavy let's just get out of here I like to picture my light body as a third person thing. So I'm going to picture myself scrunched up into a little ball and then springing towards the surface to get out of there, behind me leaving that red filament of light that I will drag through the orange rock, the yellow rock, the black rock, the, the aquifers, the middle earth coming towards the surface. It feels lighter and we move faster as we go towards the rubble of civilization and tree roots and mud and grass and into the basement of my house and foundation and into the ball of my left foot and into my ankle, up my calf, through my knee, my hip and back into that red spinning ball on my pelvis. So basically you just tied an anchor between your root chakra and the middle of the earth. And you want to just kind of look at that all by itself for a minute. It's inside your body but being outside your body is okay too if you just want to get it aligned that way and let it settle on its own. I am. I am here. I am tied to the earth with a beautiful sinking red light that will make it so I can reach in any direction I want and still be completely grounded. Very powerful feeling. So we move up to the next chakra, which is behind your belly button, basically right here. It is orange and it is feminine and it is spinning to the left. So just take a minute. You can three-dimensionalize it as a golf ball, ping pong ball, or you can make it a flat disc. But either way, it is spinning behind your belly button and it represents your creativity. Orange is a color of movement. It never stays. If you want to make something orange, you got to put a lot of layers in it and then it fades no matter what. Orange fades, orange and red both fade, but orange really fades. And it is your sexuality, it is your creativity, it is the color of dawn and dusk, it is the horizontal light that comes across the horizon and you get so excited because you know it won't last. You run for your camera to grab it and it's gone. You gotta be there with the orange light when it's there or you will miss it. So when you're thinking in terms of creativity, in terms of spontaneousness, you gotta be okay with the fact that things move fast. People who are creative thinkers tend to have fast thinking brains. They don't sit around and analyze things. They brainstorm. And now we're really getting into the nitty gritty of alignment because you have two spinning balls. You've got the orange one going to the left, and you've got the right one, the red one going to the right. And what you want to do is we're going to start up on the orange one and we're spinning it to the left. Is you want to get them in similar size and light densities. Like maybe your creativity needs a boost and you need to add more color and density to it. Or maybe you're such a creative individual, you need to tone it down and and take some light out and give it a little more of a pastel color than such a dark orange. That is up to you and what you find. You make the adjustments you need to align. We've got a red ball and an orange ball. We want their tempos, their densities, and different things to match. And then you're spinning up on the orange ball and then you're gonna jump down a layer and spin to the right. And then you're going to jump up and spin to the left on the orange and then go down and spin to the right. And the most important thing is getting those colors in color intensities similar and also the speed similar. And then you want to hop a crazy eight pattern between the red going to the right and the orange going to the left so that 
when I say it that slow, you got time to go a couple of times around the red and then a couple of times around the orange, but now I'm gonna go fast so you only have a half circle to jump and you're literally making a crazy eight that twists. So you got the red, spin it to the right, and then the orange, spin it to the left. And now here we go. Red, orange, red, orange, red, orange. Now let it go and set your intention to two-thirds the speed of light and really let go and just look at it. Now you have two parts of your chakra system aligned. And just take a moment to feel above that and a certain chaos and darkness and it's it's like that stuff's in the shadow above it and then what it feels like for just these two pieces and what that part of your body feels like because you brought them out you set them spinning and there they are we're going up one more in between your rib cage is your solar plexus it is masculine it spins to the right it is the sun. It is pure yellow radiant light. It is your energy. It is your willpower. It is not a mistake that it is masculine. And just take a minute to picture the great central sun of our universe and how it creates all life. And a little tiny piece of that gets through the Earth's magnetic fear and into our bodies and keeps us going and feeds us the energy that we need to do what needs to be done. That's all we ask for out of our bodies and our systems. And sometimes it can get a little crazy in this. Uh, we're in a, a really active solar cycle. Right now mine is feeling pretty good. I guess it's feeling a little large so Sometimes what I like to do is take a little paring knife and spin it and cut the outer edges off of it like, like rotten hair that's gotten all frizzy. And just pare the thing down to a, the right size. And mine is also a little dark in color, so I'm gonna spray it down with water. As it spins, it's gonna spew water everywhere to clean it. And then I'm gonna put it back in line and make sure it's of the same size, density, velocity of the other two. It spins to the left. It is the sun, it is my willpower. And just take another minute to see that yellow light in the middle of your chest and to accept it and to let it be. And now you're gonna jump down one to the left, spinning counterclockwise orange. And then you're going to jump down to the red, clockwise spinning root chakra. And now you're going to go up one to the counterclockwise spinning orange and back up to the clockwise spinning yellow. Now let those all just sit there together. Sometimes I like to give them a little squeeze. Just kind of squeeze all three of them like a little hug and then let them go. And that's kind of like they're a sponge and they can just drip out the energy they don't need and clean them up. And now we're gonna do it fast. We'll go up and down once where you got one more chance to set the directions and the colors. Clockwise on the yellow, counterclockwise on the orange, clockwise on the red. Now I'm just gonna say the colors because it has to go faster and you're only gonna take half circles and make a larger crazy eight, which is no longer a crazy eight, it's a DNA strand. And we'll start in the basement. Let's start with the red root chakra and get it spinning to the right. And that filament that attaches to the center of the earth and comes back, pluck it like a banjo spring. Just make sure it's tight and running. Everything's good in the basement. So here we go fast between them, clockwise to the red, to the right, yellow, orange, Wait, I did it wrong, start over. <laughs> Red, orange to the left, yellow to the right. Now we'll do it fast. Yellow, orange, red, orange, yellow, orange, red. And now let it go and see three of those twisting crazy eight patterns inside you, cleaning, running, 
and your intention to keep them at two-thirds the speed of light means you can't control it. It's just something you observe now. Three beautiful chakras. From here to here, you are aligned. From here to here, you're not. And so just take a minute to see what that feels like. Like you're in a magic box and someone just cut you in half. <laughs> All right, we're moving up one to the green chakra right here in the middle of your chest. It is your heart chakra. The color of your heart, of your love, is green, not red. Green is the color of the result of sunlight, of photosynthesis, of everything that makes this world worth living is green. I guess including money, but I don't really want to go there. I'm just going to stick with plant life and things of that nature. The, uh, the heart chakra spins to the left. It's often too big. Sometimes it's dried up and small. You be the judge of... Sometimes mine spins the wrong way. It's the craziest thing. I set it spinning to the left and it goes right. And I don't know what those days are about, but just gently correct. The correct way is for it to be counterclockwise spinning. It's a feminine feeling. I love. Think of your love for all the things on the planet. And the more you go into your heart, the more you go into this little, 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 tiny, tiny, tiny space. So, you know, a lot of empathetic type people, mothers, stuff, their hearts are way too big. They're not gonna survive. You're giving too much away. You're drained, you're codependent, all of that stuff. So we're gonna take a knife. We're gonna spin that thing to the left and we're gonna hold the knife about four inches from the edge and we're gonna cut off all that fray of your heart, of all that extra baggage you carry in your heart. And we're just gonna get down to the core of it. And now my heart is the size of a golf ball and it's starting to look, it's connecting to the others that I put in place. And it's starting to spin on its own. And it's, mine's still a little dark green, it's really a glowing, you know, spring tree green, like the color of the trees right now is exactly it. So if you're a lighter green than that, you need to darken it. If you're a darker green than that, you're gonna lighten it. I love taking a hose of these things. So let's just hose it down. That, that fixes the colors 90% of the time. So I'm gonna wash it. I'm gonna hang it out back on the strand of DNA sample. It's really prana, the stuff that's moving between them. And I'm gonna be okay with the size, the density, the velocity, the color of my heart, of my love. And now I'm gonna connect it to all the others. So we're gonna start spinning clockwise on the heart chakra. We're gonna go down one and spin to the right on the yellow sun chakra. The second chakra is orange, it spins to the left, your creative chakra and your survival chakra, your root chakra is red and it spins to the right. Let's take a careful where you can spin two or three times around each one. We've got the root chakra in the basement of the pelvis. We've got the spinning right. We've got the counterclockwise orange chakra behind your belly button. We've got your sun third chakra, your willpower is yellow spinning to the right in the middle of your ribs. And up on your chest is your heart, is your love your heart chakra spinning counterclockwise it is green set your intention to two-thirds the speed of light and let it go and now we're going to hop between the colors we're going to go starting counterclockwise on the green you're going to switch directions between each color we have green, we have yellow, we have orange, we have red, we have orange, we have yellow, we have green, we have yellow, orange, red, orange, yellow, green. And let it go again. Now, you're starting to get a channel. A channel that connects you to the electromagnetic center of the earth. And now we're about to work on 
the cosmos. And we start work on the cosmos in your throat. It is a light sky blue. Dark sky blue is okay too. It is where your Adam's apple is. It is where your thyroid gland is. In the middle of your throat is a blue ball spinning to the right that represents truth. It is your ability to speak and the ability to speak your truth. And we all tell lies. If you think all you are is truth, you're lying. We are an incredible mix of truth and lies. And the important thing is to know when you're lying and when you are telling the truth so you don't lie to yourself. And to speak your truth as kindly as you can because so often speaking the truth can be an angry, a mean event. So we wanna infuse the truth with love. If you picture your body as the center of the earth and then pretend the earth is flat and you just got this big circle dome of the sky around you. It is a circle of blue cloudless sky. And then you're gonna like hit a switch below your throat that creates a suction to just pull that entire giant ball of the circumference of the sky into your throat. And you've got the truth of the cosmos as your truth and it spins to the right. If you need to pare it down if it's too big, if you need to pump it up because it's dried up like a raisin, it needs to be buoyant, it needs to have vibrancy to it, it needs to have an even velocity. And as you dial this size and color and texture and speed of it in, it naturally connects to the string of chakras you've already aligned. Mine is there, it's spinning blue sky energy to the right, in my throat, my truth, and there it is. We're gonna hop down one to the green chakra below it, spinning to the left. We're gonna hop down one to the yellow chakra below that, spinning to the right. We're gonna hop down one to the orange below that, spinning to the left, and we're down in the basement with the root chakra spinning to the right. Nice and easy. Give that cord that connects through your hip into the center of the, the earth and back to your other hip a twang, like a banjo string. Just pluck it. It's probably gonna make a very low sound if it makes any sound at all. Take a deep breath. Feel what you feel with five chakras aligned and we're gonna half jump them which means I'm gonna get you going on direction every color you change direction and only make a half spin so you jump up to the next one so we're starting in the basement where we left off with the red root chakra and here goes the colors red to the right orange yellow green sky blue green yellow, orange, red, orange, yellow, blue, sky blue, green, yellow, orange, red. And give them a little squeeze, like you're just tightening that DNA, crazy eight infinity thing, and then let it go. And that gets all the last parts of your baggage, the crap that blocks your chakras and keeps you from operating fully, it, the organization of these different parts of your being can just settle on the frequency of light they naturally go with and you just don't have to think about it. All right, now when I first started meditating, I had to stop there because I just couldn't get what was going on above there for probably six months or more. So if you feel that way, it's okay and like I do this with my husband sometimes, you know, pretty much at gunpoint and he has this talent for the top two chakras. So it's, I guess it's everybody's orientation, but I'm really comfortable down in here. I'm pretty together on this part of my body, but when it gets to this part, 
you know, even if you struggle, just go along with the exercise and do your best. And I've developed a few fun sort of ideas about it that could help you let go of whatever's blocking you. But now we're going to go up to the twilight colored dark blue chakra in the middle of your forehead that if you really work it, it is in the middle of your head. It is your pineal gland itself and it is spinning to the left. It is a feminine counterclockwise dark blue, the color of twilight, the color of the space between the darkness of the cosmos and our blue sky is a dark blue that is the color of the outside of our outer edges of our atmosphere. It is your third eye, it is your pineal gland, and sometimes I like to take like a, a hard wind and just put it through my forehead and blow it to get that thing spinning. Like a, like a, something that's on a, a bead on a wire. It is, the pineal gland itself is more of an almond shape and that still has a circular center. So the circular center is where the disc is, but then I like to expand it into an oval almond shape and then blow it up so that it's the size of a space capsule that I'm now going to hop in, even though it's spinning to the left in dark blue around me. And then I'm going to hit the gas and there's a windshield in the front of this and I'm going to head straight for the sky and I'm going to go through the atmosphere that's ground level and then lots of airplanes and chemtrails and then I'm going to break through that and I'm going to head out to the outer atmosphere and go up to the Christ grid of the earth and I'm out on the magnetic sphere and I'm traveling through space. I've leveled the darn thing out and I'm like in a Star Trek sequence where I can just see space junk and planets and all sorts of things going by me. I'm just traveling really, really fast through the cosmos and I don't want to leave earth. So I'm just going to travel around the outside of the Christ grid of the magnetosphere of the earth a couple of times. I'm just going to at the speed of light, just go all the way around the earth once and then traveling through my own little cosmic light vehicle that exists in the middle of my brain that has taken me to, to the outside of the atmosphere of the earth. I'm gonna go around a couple more times and then I'm gonna point that sucker to the ocean. And I'm gonna dial it in on North America and on Wisconsin, on Hudson, I see the St. Croix River, I see the Willow River Falls, there's my house, I dumped in through the roof of my house back into my own brain, taking my third eye out for a spin, I'm going to get out of the light pot, I'm gonna shrink it down, I'm gonna put it back in my brain, and I'm gonna say thank you, it is already done. My third eye is spinning and the truth is, when you're following my voice and these instructions, you are working from your third eye. Your third eye is your ability to visualize. And oddly enough, if you want to access your autonomic nervous system, things that make your body have reactions that feel out of control, things that make you pee your pants, you got to do it with pictures. Anybody who has dementia, the way to reach them is with pictures, with visual jokes. And if you want to really activate your creativity, which is down here, you got to turn on that third eye and activate it. So there it is. We got to spin it into the connection of the whole chain. So we're back on a simple disc in our forehead, spinning to the left, dark blue, jumping down one to the sky blue in your throat, spinning to the right, jumping down one to the green, spinning to the left, your love, your willpower is yellow in the middle of your ribs, spinning to the right, your creativity is spinning to the left, is orange behind your belly button, and your chakra, your root, the base of it all is red spinning to the right. Now let's just take the steps where I say the colors, half spins only, changing directions on every color. We have the root chakra spinning to the right. We have the orange, we have the yellow, we have the green, we have the light blue, we have the dark blue. We have the dark blue, we have the light blue, we have the green, we have the yellow, we have the orange and the red. Oh, 
give them a squeeze, take that, the lines of the DNA prana and the twisted infinity and tighten them a little bit, moving all the balls a little uncomfortably close together, and then let them go. And they're inside your body, and they're set, and they're freely spinning in a harmony of color, density, velocity, and direction that are all aligned to make you a unity gain light being that takes energy from the universe and passes it on to do no harm. And lastly, we're gonna jump up to the crown chakra because it spins the same way as the root chakra. We have the red root chakra in the basement, in the crown, the cradle of your pelvis, and then we have the purple chakra that is really above your head, but it glances your head, it touches your head. It is spinning to the right, it is masculine, it is the portal through which spirits, deceased loved ones, energies and entities from the universe enter your being through the crown chakra. One of my favorite tricks with it is to not only arch my back and get a little more openness through the body. I've skipped all my leg stuff because I don't want to distract you. I take the orange ball and I turn it into a flat disc and I hollow it out so it's a hula hoop. It's a spinning hula hoop on my head and then I flatten it so that it is horizontal to my head. And then I let it spin like it is the opening to my prana tube. And I make sure my prana tube is as wide as that chakra spinning. And then I imagine my grandmas, my grandpas, my spirit guides, my best friends, my archangels, my entities of love and power and goddesses and gods from other ages looking in, peering in to me and smiling down and giving me their blessing and love. And that is what the crown chakra is about, is connecting with the other dimension. I'm going to close that up and make a disc that spins back in line with the other chakras. I'm gonna turn it into a three-dimensional ball. I'm gonna tighten it into the right density, the right speed. It's really a violet, light purple, I think. So if you've got a darker one or too bright, adjust the color, make it in line. And as you do those things, you'll find it naturally attaching itself to the dark blue and all the other chakras. Oh my goodness, that feels so good. Now we're going to jump between them. We've got the purple spinning to the right up on top. We've got the dark blue spinning in your forehead to the left. We've got the sky blue in your throat spinning to the right. We've got your love, your heart chakra spinning to the left, the green. We've got your yellow chakra in the middle of your ribs spinning to the right. We've got your orange chakra spinning to the left. And we've got your red chakra spinning to the right in the basement. Let's go up one more time the slow way. Red spins to the right, orange spins to the left, yellow spins to the right, green spins to the left. Sky blue in your throat spins to the right, light blue in your forehead spins to the left, and your crown chakra, ah! the tingles, the completionness spins to the right. Now I like to take those lines of prana, like the crazy eight lines that we've kind of set up to jump between and see them moving between the things. And now we're gonna hop with the spins a half step at a time and there's just enough time for me to say the colors only. So you know what to do. We're up on the purple chakra, above our heads, glancing our heads, spinning to the right and here we go, purple, dark blue, light blue, green, yellow, orange, red, orange, yellow, green, light blue, dark blue, purple, dark blue, light blue, green, yellow, orange, red, orange, yellow, light green, dark, light blue, dark blue, purple. Ah, oh, I always lose it a little, but anyway, 
the only way to really get it is to not follow a verbal sequence because we are going to set our intentions on the spinning of all of these beautiful organized light particle accelerators to go nine tenths the speed of light and all you have to do is breathe in and when you breathe out that will happen so here we are breathing in on the intention nine tenths the speed of light and you let go it's really just the beginning that felt about average and speed I can take a little bit longer to do it when I incorporate more stretching and the truth is that just gets us started and from there we start doing some really cool geometric light exercises but that's enough for today and we'll start out that's the fundamentals you have now aligned yourself put all your colors and your emotions and your powers in order you should take a little time to continue some detoxing, some teas, some oils, some salt baths, and go forward with love and light in your day with a balanced and centered approach to your day. Have a good one. We'll see you very soon.